Hi, I'm Andy Murray, one of the Schumacher Design Team. Welcome to my at-home presentation of the new Schumacher Eclipse 4. This is the latest 112 scale LMP model in our two-time Euro and now two-time World Championship winning range of cars. Almost exactly one year ago, Schumacher was celebrating our double IFMAR World Championship win with the Eclipse 3. Mark Reinhardt would win the modified class, with Michael Olowski making it a 1-2 for the Schumacher team, with myself winning the stock class title. For me, it was a dream come true, and for many of my colleagues and friends also. To make improvements on a highly successful car, we would push innovation even further while starting out with the Eclipse Free DNA. The first thing that I would like to show you is our radical new spool rear axle design. We have moved away from the traditional free screw wheel fixing in favour of one M4 nut per wheel. This makes attaching and removing tyres from the car far quicker and easier in a class where tyre changing is regular. It's also a significant weight saving over conventional solid axle designs and even more so compared to the ball differential. This isn't all. Moving to a single nut fixing obviously requires a new wheel design and this new wheel offers several improvements. As I said it's much easier to attach and remove from the car. It's also much lighter but we have also managed to improve flexibility keeping equal length spokes all the way around the wheel for more consistent flex throughout and therefore improved handling. These new parts have allowed us to make the rear axle 18% lighter and this is the best possible place on the car to reduce the weight. Firstly, rotating mass being less will obviously make the car faster out of corners and on the straights, whereas unsprung mass is also very important to handling. It will make the car more predictable to drive, but also faster around the corners. For this new wheel design, the current tyre to adapters will not fit. So we designed our own very high quality tyre adapter. This fits most common front wheels and our new JT3 design rear wheel. In other words, the contact tyres with JT3 at the beginning of the part numbers. Forcing the change of the tyre adapters was a hard decision but one we decided we must take given how many benefits could be had. This new adapter will be included in every Eclipse kit. When using the kit's solid rear axle, the car is at its best in high traction conditions. However, the solid rear axle can still outperform a ball differential in medium or even some lower grip conditions. For extremely low grip conditions or outdoor racing, you may want to go back to a ball differential however, and you can do that with a complete set for the Eclipse 4, which is bag U8171. This will require the JT2 range of rear wheels, however. Some people may wish to use a different brand of tyre or race under control tyre conditions. And in this case, a spool can be used and the core RC spool still fits, which is CR721. One of the other new features I would like to show you is our new big bore rear damper tube. It's based on the successful kingpin damping system on the front of the car. You can fill it with oil and therefore have better oil retention and therefore less frequent maintenance. It's also better in bumpy conditions. It has a smaller compact design and therefore sits narrower on the car for better weight placement. Another thing I would like to mention is that the mass damper U8137 will also fit in the front of the Eclipse 4. To generate better front-end performance. This is just a few of the cool new features that I wanted to share with you all. To read about all the other improvements, please check out racing-cars.com for more information. Stay safe everyone and thank you for watching.